Hello, welcome and thanks for taking the time to check out my research. Hi from Montreal, Canada. Where are we tonight? We are in the constellation of Orion. Guys, I got some mesmerizing photos of the Great Nebula um, on the uh, 31st of October, which is Halloween, which was Halloween. I had no internet connection and I was stuck outside with just a few clearings uh, in the sky to get the Great Nebula of Orion. And of course, I got some amazing photos of some beautiful stars inside the constellation. So while we're looking here at the Great Nebula, I'm just going to give you a heads up on the stars we'll be looking at. We're looking at uh, Betelgeuse, of course, uh, Mintaka, Alnilam. Uh, we're looking at also the star 30 Ori, which has an actual beautiful solar system around it. You guys, this is absolutely amazing. 1,340 light years away for Almalam, uh, which is the star in the middle of the belt. Uh, we're talking about Mintaka, which is over top at the right side of the belt, and it is 916 light years away. This is where it all happens, guys, where it all happened. The creation, the birth of the first stars in our universe. They came from these nebulae, I believe it. These nebulae form stars, birthing stars form in them. They expand by their cores, become heavy and drop out of the nebulae. Now, how interesting is that? Now we're looking at Alnilan. And underneath here, look at the glimpse of the Horsehead Nebulae. This is the Horsehead Nebula in the constellation of Orion. The right ascension for Almalan and declination are right here on the bottom right for the star Almalan. So we're going to talk about Almalan, the star Almalan, which is designated Epsilon. Orionis and 46 Orionis, they have many names. Most of the stars, they always have two or three definitions. Is a large blue supergiant star. We're talking about a star that's 2,000 light years distant in the constellation of Orion. It's estimated to be, get this, 275,000 to 537,000 times brighter, more luminous than our sun, and around 30 four times as massive surface temperature of this beautiful star 27,000 kelvins magnitude 1.7 guys why are they calling them stars we look at Almalan, we clearly see that there is you know it's a system um Al-Nalan is the 29th brightest star in the sky the fourth brightest in the constellation of orion and is a blue-white supergiant. Together with Mintaka and Alnitak, the three stars, as I said, make up the belt of Orion, known by many names across many ancient cultures. Alnilam is the middle star, slightly variable from magnitude 1.64 to 1.74. Since 1943, the spectrum of this star has served as one of the stable anchor points by which other stars are classified. And now this is an amazing one. 30 Orionis, also known as HD 35715, HIP 25473, 30 Orionis, a blue eclipsing binary system subgiant star that can be located in the constellation of Orion. The star can be seen with the naked eye. That is, you don't need a telescope, binoculars to see it. You can just see it with the naked eye. 30 Orionis is a multiple star system. It has alternative names, PSI Ori, 30 Ori, 30 Orionis. So yeah, it's a multiple star system, guys, with two stars orbiting in its own solar system. What is a multiple star system? Unlike the sun, quite a few stars are multiple star systems. That is... To the main star, there is at least one orbiting star. The center of rotation may be the bigger star or a spot in between the two stars 
which they rotate around. Just x-ray filtering to be able to see the beautiful many stars eh, and planets that are just um, everywhere. You know, the star is such a beautiful star with the solar system around it. So here we are back with Almalam. These are the amazing website contributors. Most recent, Barbara Germain. I love you, Barbara. Thank you very much for contributing to the, uh, the fund and to help in getting more equipment. I need a 4K monitor to go along to be able to show you guys with my technique. It's going to be quite something else. Steve Olson from WSO YouTube channel is showing other channels and what they are showing up in the sky with the coming events that are happening, crazy events happening in the sky. We're finding celestial objects and asteroids. It's very serious, and Steve Olson is interviewing many people on the subject. Please take the time to check it out.